hope you're doing great today. Um, I'm doing a new exercise today. I just wrote an article called The Nine Ridiculous Ways I Hacked My iPhone for More Productivity Instead of More Distraction. And today is quite a challenge because I'm trying to transform this article into a proper video. And at the same time, I'm in a public place, there's people around, so it's a bit embarrassing considering I'm usually at home with nobody around when I'm making a video. So, interesting exercise. So, I'm not gonna read the whole article and just like say what I wrote in the article. I will put the link in the description so you can um, click on it and just see, you know, all of the details. And here in the video, I just would like to go quickly through those nine ways I'm, I'm hacking my phone. Um, you know for less distraction and more productivity um, and, and first of all I want to to start with something that is important for me it's like a lot of people think that more productivity means to do more and I do actually think more productivity means to do less of what doesn't matter so you can produce more of what actually matters but it doesn't have to mean that you're just doing more stuff right so this being said the first thing is the most obvious that that you have to do is to turn all of your notifications off um, for me except the banking notifications so i know when money is coming out of my bank account um, that is like like there is non-negotiable i do turn all of my notifications off because I think that the way I need to know about things is when I decide to you know take my phone and check it out not when I'm in a meeting or talking to my partner or with friends and then you know some random person like like just send me a message or I get a notification I just don't want that so that's why I say to turn all of my notifications off uh, the second one is actually you know like coming from the first one is turn all the sound and all the vibrations off so you know when you have your notifications on um, um, you, you, you see them popping on, on, on the screen and this is annoying um, so you don't want that but you also don't want to have sounds and vibration sounds like all, all the fucking time so this comes with it so I also turn all the sounds and all of the vibrations off the third one has been to you know removing all of my games um, I used to play a lot on my phone I'm not super proud of it but I used to spend hours and hours playing um, games on my phone and suddenly, you know, I realized that this wasn't, um, you know, bringing me any positive outcomes. So I just deleted all of these games. Um, the two only apps I, I, I still have. So one is a, ch is a chess app. So I'm playing chess on my time off with friends online. Um, that's the only one I, I, I kept. And the second one is not really a game app. It's Peak. So it's a brain game app. So it's something I use to train my, my cognitive skills on a daily basis. And, and I love this app. Is really efficient. Um, the fourth one is deleting the Facebook app. It actually can go with Instagram uh, and other social media apps that you're using and are taking a lot of your time. So basically every single app that includes you know infinite scrolling I would just delete that from my phone because you do not want to get caught into infinite you know scrolling on the phone. The fifth one is to group all of my application not only on one page on my phone, on one screen only, but also on two lines only. So the first line is for the folders and I put all of my apps in those folders. It doesn't matter um, if it's like, what's the title of the folder. It, do it doesn't have to be like similar categories. It doesn't matter. I just put all of my apps in those folders. And then I only have two lines of application. So one line is for the folders. One line is for the four apps I am using the most um, on my phone and, and, and that's it. I'm, I'm not having any other app. Um, the, the reason, the reason you know behind this is because um, you do not want to have your eyes, you know, going through like dozens of pages and dozens of applications, so that one of them might attract your attention, might you know make you want to actually click on it. You do not want that. So that's why I group all of my apps in folders and I really keep the essential apps um, you know, outside the folders. In my case, those apps are Google Translate, Google Maps, a phone, Photos, and Zero, which is an app I use for intermittent fasting. Um, the sixth hack is I always lock my phone. So this is also pretty obvious, but um, first it's safer, right? When you finish to use your phone, just lock it, you know, so if someone is taking it, you know, can't check what, what's in it. So, 
it's it's obvious for for safety reason but it's also um you know it's also like mentally it's like when you have to unlock your phone to check it out it's one more step you know one more step to reach the content and even though it's a small step it's still one step and as you may already know it the further you are from your addiction the more you're able to resist it the seventh one is a bit extreme i have to i have to tell um it's i turn my phone screen in, in black and white so in grayscale um it's a recent one I, I started to do that a few weeks ago and it has been quite tough because i'm doing a lot of pictures and video editing on my phone and obviously when you're in a grayscale mode it is quite complicated so 95% of the time my phone is in grayscale and, and when I'm actually editing pictures and, and, and videos I turn my phone into colors back again. Um, the reason why it's, it's a good idea to turn your phone in, into grayscale mode is because um, colors on your phone are extremely intense and addictive um, and they're actually so intense and so addictive that you start to feel like the world around you is actually you know pale and desaturated when actually just your phone that is over con con contrasted and um, has just like like millions and millions of colors so turning your phone into grayscale mode um, make it makes it extremely boring so that you're more you know eager to look around you and just to see the world um, like you know the real world that we are actually living in um, the eighth point is sorry about that the eighth point is um, the eighth point is what do I actually want to do um, this is really important one um, and it's something um, it took me a while to do but you know all of those times you just randomly take your phone and you don't really know what you want to do but you just like unlock it and you just scroll through you know through random stuff and then you put it back you know it's kind of like you see a lot of people it's like zombie you know zombie moves and I um, like these are useless unnecessary distraction and and the reason um, the way I managed to to stop that is to start to ask myself the question what do I actually want to do on my phone and the simple fact of asking this question is making me realize if I actually have nothing nothing to do on it so I just put it back um, you know far from my sight or if I if I actually do have something I want to do on my phone then I actually think about it oh okay I actually want to answer this person so then I answer this person and then I put my phone away so you know to make it really really specific what I actually want to do um, then the last one is called uh, so it's the ninth hack and it's called get out of my room um, so this one is a new one as well um, I recently realized that most of the time I was spending on my phone scrolling you know through shit and like just like looking random videos watching random videos and, and doing random stuff um, was on the evening um, on the night time uh, when I was laying down on my bed basically doing nothing so I solved some part of it by waking up at 5 a.m. So anyway, after 10 p.m., you know, I have to sleep because I'm exhausted. Um, and the second part was to actually decide to, to ban the phone from my room. And not only during nighttime, but just to ban it, um, you know, period. So um, my phone does not have access to my room anymore. So whenever I'm in my room, I'm doing what you know human beings are supposed to do in the bedroom and I am just you know resting and sleeping and not you know scrolling through my phone and I actually also apply that with my laptop so that I'm accessing my phone and in my laptop outside of the bedroom and when I'm inside the bedroom um, I'm reading a book resting or sleeping um, okay so that's it guys I hope that out of those nine hacks there is at least one that will be useful for you if it is the case uh, please just comment below let me know which one is your favorite one if you do have your own hacks that you're using um, you can also leave a comment just let me know um, what are you doing you know in order to make your phone more of a productive tool um, you know whereas um, not a, like a distraction tool as you know it tends to become right now so just let me know below and i make another video really soon bye linkedin ciao